Welcome back to my channel guys. So for today's video, we're going to keep it short and simple. We're going to be doing this purpley eyeshadow look using the P. Louise Times Michaela palette because you guys wanted a part two. So here we go. <laughs> first things first, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Eden primer. You guys know that this is my jam. The best eyeshadow primer in the game. I love to outline my brow and then I fill it all in with this primer. Now you guys can use foundation, concealer, whatever you guys want if you guys don't have this i just really like how colors pop whenever i use this eyeshadow primer and then of course we're gonna go into the p louise times michaela palette and the first shade that i'm gonna go into it's this one called 012321 <laughs> this really pastel light pink and we're gonna apply this right in the inner corner and then i'm using the morphe m433 and then i go into a more fluffier brush i will link the brushes down below for you guys and and when I go into the Morphe M433, I place the eyeshadow first and then to blend it out and make it look more soft, I go into this really fluffy brush. Um, and then I want to darken it up a little bit more. So I'm going to go into the vowels and then using this very small, precise brush from Morphe, we're going to place that where you want to place it um, to get like a more cleaner effect, you know, and then just to blend it, I'm going to go into the Morphe Times um makeup by ariel brush set and then going back to that first pink shade you guys i'm gonna blend those two colors together that's like what really helps me to blend out my eyeshadows is that i always go in with a dark shadow first and then i'll go back to the lighter shade to blend both of them together and this is going to give you that nice seamless blended look try it and then let me know what you guys think and then i'm going to go into pug party i think that's what it is this dark chocolate brown and again we're just going to deepen it up and pretty much do the exact same thing except going into that light pink shade we're going to go into that second shade that we went in and blend these two together um it's pretty much a going back and forth um thing when it comes to eyeshadows i don't know another way to explain it but you we just want to keep going back and forth with the shadows that you use and then of course we're going to go back into my eden primer and taking this very small precise concealer brush to cut my crease so we're only going to keep it like in the middle we're not going to take it all the way out like a cut crease pretty much it's like a half cut crease and then we're going to fill that in and then we are just going to blend out the outer corner i like to use this with whatever product i have left on the brush to make it look nice and smooth and get it ready for our next shade so we're going to go back into that dark brown shade and just pretty much um tap the product so that way we don't see any harsh lines with my morphe m433 and then for the inner corner that very small precise brush and then we're gonna go into this i forgot what the name was i couldn't even see it <laughs> this purpley glittery shade we're gonna place it only in the crease like at the very very top as you guys can see here and then for the sides we're gonna go into this purpley shade called forever in love and we're gonna place that only in the inner and outer corner of the eye so we're gonna avoid the negative space right down the center of the lid um and pretty much build up the intensity and then we're going to go into that very first shade that we used to apply just down the center of the eyelid now you can get very creative with this if you want you can go in with glitter you know you guys can do whatever you want but i'm going to keep it pretty matte and then just keep the glitter in the crease so for the inner corner highlight you guys i'm going to use that uh, glittery purpley shade that we used in the crease and then i'm going to take that pink bright lavender shade again and place it right on top of that as well so that way it doesn't look like extremely harsh and then we're also going to take that pink shade and apply it on my brow bone taking this juvia's place glitter liner um, i'm gonna also apply this only in the crease of the eye right above that purpley glittery shade that we used just to give it like that extra like umph, you know <laughs> and then chingona lashes from my brand she lash lashes and i'm gonna go ahead and do my base off camera and then now i'm back <laughs> using this urban decay um eyeliner it's a purple one we're gonna place this in the waterline as well as towards the bottom lash line and then just blend it out with like that 
dark purple shade that we used um, and then go back to those two light and pinky lavender shades just to blend the bottom as well and then gonna go back to that juvia's place glitter liner they kind of remind me of the urban decay heavy metal glitter liners you guys remember those those were the best <laughs> do they still sell those let me know if they do um, and i'm just gonna apply this only towards the lower lash line towards the inner corner of the eye and we're not going to set it because it sets really nicely and then the bad gal bang mascara of course from benefit and we're just going to coat our bottom lashes now i do go in with at least two coats of mascara i really like that like intense dark lash line look for my bottom lashes i don't know i just really love the darkness um <clears throat> And that's pretty much it, you guys. That is it for today's look. Super easy and simple. I just really wanted to focus on eyeshadows today. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next video on Thursday. If you recreate this, tag me. Love you. Bye.